Well, this is our RAS rearing hatchery in uh, Makrahanish. We've got uh, juvenile RAS in here, and they're uh, 118 days old. So what we're doing here is growing them up to a size about 12 centimetres in length, so we can take them from here and put them into a salmon farm. After about a year, a year and a half, we take them from here in tanks and then we deliver those tanks to the salmon farm and decant the wrasse into the pens. We want to grow as many as we can in the hatcheries and then bring them out to the sea farms where the, where the ras can live with salmon and, and do their job taking lice from the, from the salmon. Sea lice is a problem for, for fish farmers, there's, there's, there's no doubt about that. And we do have a, a number of medicines that we can use, but we are looking at other ways that we can control sea lice. And having a biological control is a fa fantastic way of doing that. So having the RAS is just a wonderful solution to, to sea lice. When you put them in the salmon cages, they're just having a feast. It's like a kind of midnight feast and you put all this food out for them. It's good for the salmon because the salmon are cleaned by a cleaner fish. Um, and it's good for the farmers because they can use a, a, a biological solution to keeping the salmon clean and healthy. This is a commercial scale deployment. What we've done up until now is lab-based, hatchery-based, bench-tested work. What we're seeing now is farmers saying, we actually need a million wrasse. We can't go and catch them in the wild in a sustainable way, so we want to grow them through aquaculture, and that's a long-term solution.